In this video, we cover the features added and the improvements made to Mover Suite at 2018 R10. As part of what we call the big list of changes slated to improve application performance, we have updated the way the application handles vendor records. Prior to this release, Mover Suite loaded all your defined vendors into the system memory. For some of you with a large list of vendors, this caused performance issues when bringing up Mover Suite. It also caused issues when selecting vendors, such as here when adding a third party item. So, no longer is Mover Suite loading all the vendor information up front. Further, we enabled a quick find feature for you to use when selecting a vendor within the application. This reduces processing time substantially. Entering as little as three characters, the Quick Find produces a list of matching records. The Find searches for matches within either the name or ID fields and produces a list of qualified entries. You also have the option to enter a wildcard character. For example, if you know that workflow appears somewhere in the vendor name, you can enter the percentage character preceding the word workflow and the application returns only qualified records. Additionally, you can take advantage of a list of recently accessed vendors through the drop-down menu. The application keeps track of up to 50 of your recently accessed vendors. Quickly locate and select the vendor you want to assign. And if you want a more advanced search, you can still use the vendor find. Clicking here opens the vendor find screen. Changes to this screen include the ability to include city and state in your searches. Please refer to the Vendor Find and Vendor Quick Find topics within the online help for additional information. Point-to-point -point rating, also known as Final Mile Pricing, is now available. Within Rate Plan Setup, you can define new plans based on one of four types. The options include Airport, Country, Postal Code, and State. Once you specify the type, such as state in this case, you can set supporting values within the rate details. In this example, Colorado and Arizona are specified as the origin and destination states that must be set on the order for this rate to apply. In Mover Suite, the application references the moving from and moving to addresses for the state comparison. If they match, then the rate is in effect. If the rate plan is one that is based on airport, then you can choose which origin and or destination airport you wish to match for the rate to be eligible. A case for using the airport option is for international orders. There are four different settings that you can specify based on the type set for the rate plan. Please note that you cannot set or change the point-to-point -point type once details exist on the rate plan. In addition to these fields, the notes and foreign ID settings were added to support importing of rates. However, you can utilize the notes field for any documentation you wish. There is a point-to-point -point rating topic available in the online help where you can find out more about this feature. There is now a section setting for rated items. You can control which orders the rate is available to based on the section setting. For example, if you wish this rate to apply to only Section A orders, then set this field to A. Within Mover Suite, the application compares this field's value to what is set for the section on the Billing Information tab. If they match for the correct rate plan, then the rate is eligible for the order. You can specify the section on existing rate items as well as any new rates you wish to add. A new feature added to rating is the use of minimum and maximum charges. You now have the option to set a minimum charge and or a maximum charge on rated items. The application applies this amount to the total calculated line item to determine whether to apply the minimum or maximum amount. For example, let us say that you want a minimum charge any time that this item code is utilized for this plan. In Mover Suite, if the application computes an amount that is less than the minimum charge, then the minimum charge is set for the line item total. The application applies the minimum or maximum after line calculation is made. If the calculated amount is above the minimum, then the calculated amount is referenced. You set one or both fields. They are designed to work independent of each other. 
Refer to the rating systems and add rate topics in the online help for more information on these and other rating features. Those of you working in local dispatch can now take advantage of an expanded sort one field. This field now allows you to specify up to 64 characters. The sort one and sort two fields are provided to give you an extra set of options to group and organize the data. Some great improvements are available with this release for electronic payments, which includes credit card and bank account payments made directly or through an online payment site. On the Setup Credit Card Bank Online Payment screen, you now have the option to specify whether you are making a payment or if you wish to capture a method for a future payment. If you choose Electronic Payment, then you plan to send a message that includes a payment link for a payment on this order up to the limit of what you set for the max payment amount. Alternatively, you can choose to Capture Credit Card Info. This allows you to send a message with a link to the payment site to capture the payment method without charging the card or account. The screen updates to reflect this choice. Verify the email address and press Set up online transaction to send the email. The email message contains a link to the payment site. Once the person opens the link, the online payment site only allows them to select a payment method. The choices include selecting a credit card, checking account, or savings account. There is no dollar amount associated to the transaction. Once a selection is made and Next is pressed, the person can complete the transaction through the Secure Payment form. Once the payment is processed, a Payment Capture Summary appears. This page provides confirmation that the capture was successful, such as in this case, or it may indicate that the capture was unsuccessful. If the capture was unsuccessful, then the option to reprocess the capture request would be available to the person. Once the payment method is captured, it is available as an option when setting up payments for recurring billing and when processing a payment through the Credit Card Bank Payment screen. Another option available from the Setup screen is the ability to attach the payment method to the customer selected for the payment. If this option is checked, then the payment method is retained for the customer no matter which order they are associated to. The captured method becomes available through the Payment Setup tab in Recurring Billing and through the Credit Card Bank Payment screen. Of note, if you are processing a payment and have this option checked, then the person that is making the payment must check the option on the online payment site to indicate that they wish to retain the method for future invoices. In addition to the email that generates for the payment or capture, you can also instruct the application to also send a notification email to key personnel. Checking this option enables the notification email entry. This email defaults to the email address set within your personnel setup record. You can add emails by separating each address with a comma or a semicolon. The notification email is sent upon a successful capture or successful payment. The text of the message is customizable to suit your company needs. Within the Admin tool, under the System Email Setup, you now have options to modify the text through the Online Card Info Received and Online Capture options. On the Credit Card Bank Payment screen, there is now the option to assign an account nickname to a payment method. This feature stores the custom name you provide to the saved payment method. Once the payment method is successfully retained, the nickname is available as an on-hand option. It is also available when selecting a method for recurring billing item. Refer to the Electronic and Online Payments to learn more about these features. There are additional changes, included updated requirements for this release, so please read more through the online help at version 2018 R10. Thank you.